Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. And today we are back with some more Funko Pop news. So this weekend we had one of the best events of the year, which is Star Wars Celebration, happened over in Europe, in London, England to be exact. And there was just so many cool things about Star Wars. We talked a little bit about that just on, I believe it was Friday, we talked about Star Wars Celebration, some of the announcements, and along with doing a little bit of a Funko Pop hunt. One of the things that was talked about during Star Wars Celebration, that's not necessarily Star Wars, is Indiana Jones. Because this summer we're going to have the next and possibly final chapter of the Indiana Jones story with Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which is hitting theaters this June. And I am super excited about this movie. I absolutely love the Indiana Jones films. Even Kingdom of Crystal Skull I still think is pretty good as a nice adventure movie. But I'm super excited for this film. We got James Mangold directing. We got Harrison Ford back as Indy. Phoebe Waller-Bridge as his goddaughter too. And they did put out a new trailer over the weekend as well. And it was a lot of fun. Really got to know about what this story is about because it was very mysterious up until now. But it's going to have something to do with time travel and this dial of destiny that will help the Nazis kind of go back and change history. I think that's going to be a super interesting premise. And the action looks absolutely amazing. And Harrison Ford really looks like he has his heart in this. Which makes me even more excited about this. If Harrison Ford's excited, of course, I have to be excited about this movie. And that actually brings us to today where we got some new Funko Pop news. Where we got the announcement of brand new Indiana Jones Funko Pops that are going to be hitting stores soon in anticipation for the upcoming film. Now these new pops are not necessarily tied to the new film. They are actually Indiana Jones series figures so it could be from any of the movies. I'm not quite sure if any of these pops have anything to do with the new movie. It doesn't look like it so far but we could get new pops once the movie does come out as well. But these figures that they announced are some really awesome ones. And the entire Indiana Jones franchise has some really awesome characters. Of course, Indy himself, along with all the supporting characters. So it's about time that some of those characters started to get some pops. Because up until now, the only Indiana Jones pops we've been getting are mostly like either the Comic-Con ones or some Disney Parks exclusive ones. But now it looks like Funko has gotten the license back and they are now making even more indie pops. So let's go and check out all the different Indiana Jones pops that are gonna be coming soon. So it looks like we'll start with Indy himself. So there's gonna be a few different Indiana Jones figures, of course, as he does change outfits all throughout the movies. So we have our first one, which is Indy with his jacket on and his hat, and he even has his satchel going across his chest. So definitely a really cool looking pop, like he's out doing some adventuring. And then we also have a version of him with his jacket off, with his sleeves rolled up. Both very similar molds, but still both look pretty cool as he does have a little bit of detail with his five o'clock shadow. And then we have an exclusive pop, which is gonna be Professor Indiana Jones. And I think that looks fantastic. One of the first scenes that we see in the Raiders Lost Ark is of course him as a professor. So that just harkens back to some of those moments from the films. Now over exclusive to the Funko shop, we are gonna be getting a brand new die cast figure, which I've enjoyed the die cast figures. I don't love all of them, especially not the chases. But I think this one's definitely a pretty interesting one. We have Indiana Jones with the idol and the whip in his hand. Definitely a really awesome and classic version. Actually is a similar mold to what they've done before. And the chase is just the regular normal silver chrome. I do think Funko missed the opportunity with making this a gold chrome. Because you have the idol that he's holding in his hand. It is gold. So why not make the entire figure gold? And then a couple of my favorite figures are some exclusive indie pops. So this one's actually going to be a Funko Shop exclusive as well. This is Indiana Jones all dressed up. So definitely looks super cool with his white dinner jacket. He looks super slick there with a lot of detail on that, especially with like the rose lapel. And then my favorite figure is going to be this Hot Topic exclusive one from the Temple of Doom. Definitely super awesome where he has the sword in one hand, the whip in the other, and it looks like he's all beat up and even his shirt is ripped up a little bit, exposing his chest. I think this is definitely a great pop. They made something similar to this and I think it might have been a Disney Parks exclusive a number of years ago, but this is definitely going to be one of my favorites from the set. Next, we got some secondary characters from the Indiana Jones franchise and one of them is going to be Marion Ravenwood. Of course, we saw in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Definitely an amazing character. And she's even holding the monkey, which that is an awesome scene in the first film as well. Then we have Indy's buddy, Salah, who is great. He is wearing his fez and looks like he's a little bit ready for a fight too. 
and I'm super excited to see Salah return in the new Dial of Destiny. Then we have the creepy Arnold Thought, one of the Nazis from the first movie, and he is definitely an evil guy, but a really good character and a great villain. And it looks like Arnold is going to be the only villain from this wave, which I think is fine because we love the hero characters a whole lot more. And then the next pop that we have our look at is going to be Henry Jones Sr., who is, of course, going to be Indy's father, played by the late Sean Connery. I really loved his character there. Definitely a pretty awesome pop here. And one of my favorite pops in the set is definitely going to be this GameStop exclusive short round. Of course, we do have the renaissance now of Kihu Kwan after the Oscars and everything ever all at once. So it's really cool to now see him finally get his own Funko Pop as well. And then we're also getting some bigger pops as well as some of the pop moments for the collection. And of course, one of the most iconic moments from the Indiana Jones franchise from Raiders of the Lost Ark that everybody knows is the giant rolling boulder. And it's recreated here in Funko Pop form. So you have Indy running with the idol in his hand as well. Definitely super cool. And there's a lot of amazing detail on this pop. And it looks like it has like the front of plate that says Indiana Jones. And then from the Temple of Doom, we have a really great looking deluxe pop. And this one is actually going to be a sound effects pop. So it looks like it's going to make some noise according to some things that we saw online. And it's really cool. It's the skull that houses the Sankara stones. Definitely a really great pop. And it looks like the eyes and like the nose and maybe the mouth might light up a little bit. I'm gonna be really interested to see that one when it comes out. And then our last pop that we have is this brand new pop ride, which is super cool. You have Indy cruising along with his father in the sidecar motorcycle. Definitely really cool, them trying to get away from some Nazis. Looks like this is going to be an Amazon exclusive. You'll also have a great base there where it looks like there is some like dirt being kicked up, creating some dust clouds. But then you have the plaque on the front that also says Indiana Jones. So definitely some pretty cool ones there. It looks like the insignias on the bike and everything that they took. So I really do like that pop ride. And it's not only Funko Pops, they also announced some new lounge fly for you lounge fly collectors out there. So we do have this new lounge fly backpack from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Definitely looks really great with the iconic scene again of the boulder coming down and we have Indy running away from it. And then the little coin purse that is the idol hanging off the side. That is a great looking piece there. And then they also announced a little wallet to go along with it. Same exact design, just in a smaller wallet. Also looks great. So guys, there's our look at all of the new Indiana Jones Funko Pops that we will be getting soon. I would predict that we should be seeing these over the next couple months, I would guess, is when they start to hit stores. None of these are currently available on any sites, especially like the Rage Taylor exclusives. I've not put them up for sale quite yet, but as soon as we get like the Pop Ride, along with the Hot Topic exclusive or Walmart exclusive pops, I'm definitely jumping right on that because I think all of these figures are super cool and it's getting me even more excited for the new film. But I gotta say, out of all of these, Hot Topic exclusive is definitely my favorite. That short round and then the pop moment of him actually running away from the boulder along with him with the actual like, skull, well, that's the sound effects one. I think those are definitely the best out of all of these. Now guys, I do wanna throw it over to you. What do you think about these new Indiana Jones Funko Pops? Do they get you excited? Do you plan on picking any of these up for yourself? And which one of these are your favorite? And also let me know, are you excited for the new Indiana Jones movie? Maybe you are, maybe you're not. Maybe these pops got you excited for the film. Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course you can always hit that bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. Also make sure to check out the description down below. We do have some cool coupon codes down there. We do have a link over to Whatnot, which is a great app for you to buy and sell your own collectibles. If you actually use our link to sign up for an account on Whatnot, you get $15 off your first purchase. And that includes Funko Pops and way more sports cards, Pokemon cards, a whole bunch of stuff you can get on Whatnot. So $15 off just by signing up using our link. And then you also have a coupon code over to Vaulted Vinyl, which is where we get our preferred Funko Pop protectors of choice. So that way you can maybe protect some of these new indie pops. So if you actually use our link in the description, our code, you can get 10% off any purchase on Vaulted Vinyl. I hope you guys did enjoy this video today and thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.